Hi everybody, welcome back to Time Predicts and this is another reading. Today we are doing what are their thoughts, what do they want to say and uh, what all messages that I can get you, get for you. Let's see what do are they thinking about you. These are the messages and we use these cards, the love cards and I'm also going to use the psychic tarot cards and uh, I'm going to also take out alphabets or any other uh, numbers that I can give you what I think is important for the reading. And uh, also yes, let's take out the zodiac signs. Let me take the cards out, I forgot that. Let's take the zodiac sign cards out also. They are always fun to know what's with zodiac we are talking about or which zodiac it can be. So let's start without wasting much time and uh, let's see what are the messages. Nothing can keep us apart. I think I have this one in the thumbnail also. So definitely uh, they love you. Nothing can keep them apart from you. That's what they want to say. No matter what uh, it comes between you two, you know, that will be that might would have created a, te a temporary problem or that might create a problem that is very temporary but uh, definitely nothing can keep them away from you they do not want to uh, want to be away from you they want to stay with you okay that's another message that i get going to call you very soon i added very i don't know why but yes i always take my slip of tongues as guided messages so they're going to call you very soon very soon could be your uh, your phone could just be ringing while you listening to this or if you were waiting for the call for long if you weren't if you won't be able to get in touch with them i feel uh, they're going to call you very very soon is also the message that i uh, i get so definitely if there is a message like this you know that's a slip of tongue which is an important message for you guys i know i was doing the wrong thing so they definitely know they were not right in uh, whatever way you know probably uh, whatever happened between you two because this is a general reading and there'll be different uh, things happening in every relationship but definitely uh, something was not right i mean seeing number six and this is the dice that's showing me right now the upside i can see the upwards what's facing towards me is number six so number six could be important in a way could be uh, important in a relationship or uh, could be important that you met in the sixth month it's been six date or something closer to that or it could be your birth month or birth date but definitely they know what they did wrong and uh, that's how they're going to correct it or they are already going to confess that I knew this was wrong and shouldn't have been done or this is uh, the problem between us. That's another thing that I get. I got influenced. That's a very, very big message. Okay, It's a very different message and I got influenced. Uh, somebody influenced them. It could be their friends, family, uh, best friends. You know, a lot of times people put the, put you put them on a wrong track or put you on a wrong track because it's like, uh, you know, there are a lot of opinions. There'll be a lot of things, you know, this is not right in the relationship. You should have been doing that. So I also, also want to say every relationship is different, okay? There is no manual to it. There's no one, two, three, four, five, six that it has to follow something. No two relationships or what's going on, um, you know, in a relationship is similar. So please do not listen to when uh, somebody says, yes, do see the red flags, guys, but do not listen to somebody who says, uh, you know, uh, we did it, uh, we did it like this, or it happened with us like this, or we had two dates and we got committed, or, you know, now we are engaged and you guys are, uh, you know, not even talking about it. So please go at your own pace, do what you think is right for a relationship, because every relationship is very different, okay? So you can't compare one to another. And uh, if you start uh, getting influenced by people, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to be good for your relationship because you'll be like comparing your relationship and other people's timelines or deadlines or, you know, or, or the way it went, you know, uh, across certain stages at what point of time. So yours is totally different. Remember that. And uh, they got influenced somewhere. And I think that influence uh, spoiled your relationship, you know, could be influenced by anybody in any way. I'll be more expressive so they are trying to be more expressive help it help them with being more expressive maybe the, you know there's somebody who's different from you you probably talk a lot they do not you like going out they do not like that so uh, you know you you can say I love you so you can say whatever you like you know uh, pretty often or a lot of times but they are not used to it so they are uh, trying I think the other channel message that I get is they you know they're trying to uh, be more expressive which is I think also more important Drastic change in me. So uh, for some of you, because this is a general reading, you might see a good drastic change. Drastic change, I'm not going to say for the bad worse, but drastic change is uh, changing themselves a bit, uh, whatever was was required of them, you know, in the relationship. And that's why probably they're saying I'll be a bit more expressive, maybe a bit more caring, a bit more loving. So they're going to change, you know, uh, drastically or uh, they're going to change uh, the way they see the relationship, you know, in a, in a better way or things they have to do, they couldn't. They did not do and now they're going to change it okay so you'll notice a drastic change maybe for you it's a drastic change maybe they never got you flowers and suddenly they got to get you flowers and you'll be like oh this is like uh, really and uh, not really you 
so remember you don't need to start questioning them and do something different it is how they want to you know impress or express or uh, they kind of change their way probably you put complaints you know and you said uh, everybody does this you know couples do this and couples do that and we don't do that so they're trying their best okay so acknowledge that that they're do, doing a good job so the time they're going to call you if you've been in no contact contact any other situation or you wanted to know how they're feeling 4 10 p.m 5 20 p.m 6 20 p.m okay this these are evening times so they're going to call you around this time you are my everything this is so beautiful i mean they uh, they see you as everything probably a friend a lover a mentor or you know somebody they can confide into or somebody uh, they can talk about work and uh, probably music or whatever probably you have similar interests uh, books but uh, also they see you like this you know you're my everything and they've never thought beyond you okay for some of you this is such a beautiful message these are the letters that i got you could be your uh, name could be beginning with this letter or uh, you know their name could be beginning with this letter could be a month or something like i've got an o o could be october so but otherwise your names could be beginning with this r k j i've got l t o p uh, b a c s and i i wrote T O P here and top really means you're you like moved up in the up in their priority list. You're like top now. You somewhere were pushed somewhere down, you know, to the third and fourth or the second, you know, and you did not like it. Or if you did not feel that you've been their priority, I really feel because I've got the top word here and um, really, you know, uh, you're gonna be that have a top priority, number one priority. I got the word rink. I do I can't uh, uh, you know form it here, but I got the word rink. Uh, do one of you uh, do you like skating or like a boxing ring i don't know what it does, has to do with you i mean is it is it about one of you is a skater something to do with skating do you like ice skating next two days are important so good i remember uh, it's not that next two days are going to be very if i said next two days are important doesn't mean something bad is going to happen they they might be important for you they might be important in a relationship they might be that you have to take a decision it might be that you both had to go out you're going to plan something so next two days are important will do you good Money problems, yes, they had money problems and I think they told you they were uh, not uh, wrong in that. They did have money problems if there was any uh, problems created in the uh, relationship because of money. So they genuinely had money problems, guys, remember that, okay? It's not just because for the sake of it, they're saying it. So trust me, they're saying trust me, so they want you to trust them. Maybe they're going to change for the better, maybe they're going to come back, maybe they're going to call you, but whatever conversation you had, you know, uh, this uh, sits there and says trust me, you know. Love at first sight. This card has been coming out a lot in the readings, you know, love at first sight. Madly in love with you. My God, look at this reading. It is so beautiful. <laughs> For love at first sight, madly in love with you. See, I told you, you mean a lot to them. I'm very sure about us. Wow, wow, wow. How nice. Two more cards. Let's see. My finances are not good. Guys, I'm shuffling it in front of you, okay? Look at this. I told you today I got, I got, a, I got like a channel thing that, you know, their money wasn't really good. Uh, money uh, did pose a problem and did come into the relationship and became a bit of a problem or, or a great problem but finances weren't right and uh, they were trying to set it right so you know they could be with you or spend more time with you or spend at least some money with you or buy you something see i will never leave you they will never leave you i told you that you know you are there everything they're not going to leave you guys you got to believe it let's see what are the uh, signs that i'm getting i'm going to take out six you could be this sign or they could be that the sign Taurus, yes, Taurus and my readings are inseparable. <laughs> Taurus comes out in every reading, guys. Aries. We've got Capricorn. We've got Cancer. Two more. Wow, we've got Scorpio. And we've got Leo. So either you dealing with you know one of these zodiac signs or you are this zodiac sign could be any okay guys do not worry if your zodiac sign is not there and if you do uh you know resonate with the messages there could be a message for you here i mean there was a message for you let's see i'm using my psycho uh, psycho <laughs> oh god is one of you dealing with a psycho <laughs> is one of you behaving like a psycho or did behave like a psycho in the in the whole you know the relationship or did you see the movie psycho why would I get that? Okay, wow, this is light. How beautiful it is. Your your relationship will see the light. I'm not gonna say off the day, it's gonna see the light. If I had if if it has why am I why am I like my tongue is twisting today? Maybe 
you know the messages messages too many messages okay yeah because look at this i'll tell you why look at this spiritual uh, union you've got a spiritual union here and your relationship is going to see the light of the day or it's if it was a very dark sad relationship or things were very challenging and you you thought everything is over then there was light you know like you say and then there was light and suddenly there was a ray of hope and uh, you know probably they send you a message or they called you or probably thought they're never going to come back you know they were to not message me and then suddenly your soulmate is back so i feel good things are going to happen if you've been having a tough time in your relationship no matter because of whatever because of whatever but it's going to be fine because look at this everything is true look at this the balance prosperity begins so this is your uh, relationship prospering because this is a love reading so i'm going to take it like that otherwise i mean you'll do financially well finances will be better uh, but i really feel the relationship growing it's like a tree and you both have to tend to it you know it can't uh, run just because of one person authority so someone was dealing with authority or somebody or you have to put you know you had to put your foot down and that's when they realize that you're serious and uh, you know they can you cannot be treated like that and uh, you you uh, are equal in the relationship you know i really feel you put your foot down you know one of you did, had to put your foot down and say hey this this relationship cannot go on like this you know there has to be equal footing you know it can only grow when we uh, you know put uh, the same amount of effort and you have to show your authority in it you know and that's when they understood they have to accelerated motion of course look at this the shooting star wishing upon a shooting star you wanted your relationship to be better and it's going to be better so, oh sorry accelerated uh, sorry my setup is uh, seriously i mean <laughs> it's always changing and it's getting pushed back okay anyway so uh, let's get on with the messages which are more important than the setup so there is a accelerated motion it's going to really happen quickly eight hours eight days within eight hours eight days um you know or uh, this this is going to happen very soon guys because this is accelerated uh, you know mo uh, motion and this is uh, uh, wishing upon a shooting star i think you did your wishes and you did your manifestations wow 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 and your patience paid here is it okay and look at this at the end of the deck i'm going to you know take this card this is partnership and alliances partnerships and alliances look at this being there for each other holding each other's hand you know this is so beautiful guys and multiples of 3 important i did a person reading yesterday i think i gave 3 multiples of 3 are going to be important look at this how beautiful it is a beautiful partnership you could be working together uh, the coming days is going to show you next few days uh, you know it's going to show you that they are, will be a wonderful partner to you you know and they will prove it also that's what i get but your patience did pay okay that's another message that i get Yes, let's do this also. Any other number that I can give? Let me roll the dice. See, I told you six is very important. So anything to do with multiples of three is important for you. Anything I can make out. I'm going to take three words and let's see if it means anything. Three letters. H E hem. Hem is what? Did you hem something? Did you with a needle or sewing machine? Or hem could also be, you know, the relationship is becoming better. You know how you hem hem uh, the lining and you know maybe that's that's important. Also about me, me and he. Okay. Oh, sorry. I you can't even see it. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Look at this. This is. This is also me. This is also he. Both are important. Okay. That's what I feel. I feel Monday important. That's another thing that I get. Okay. So those are important messages for you. And uh, thank you so much. And I'll be back. Look at this too. Oh, there was two there. So that's important so both of you are going to get together and it was one which also means i'm your number one person in your life <laughs> so thank you so much guys and i hope you enjoyed the reading and i'll be back with another reading soon and take care do like do subscribe and do comment i love all the comments and thanks for all the love that you've been giving me guys thank you so much bye